What is a zero check of transmitters? Zero checking of transmitters ensures that the transmitter does not deviate from the true zero reading. This should be done periodically or when an error is suspected in the transmitter reading. What is the zero of a transmitter? Zero is the smallest pressure at which the transmitter was calibrated. How do you do a zero check on a differential pressure transmitter? Close one of the valves either HP or LP. Usually the high pressure valve is the one that is closed to prevent transmitter damage and must be closed slowly. Open the equalizing valve slowly. The output of the transmitter should read zero. An operator tells you that flow indication is more. How would you start checking? First flushing the transmitter. Flush both the impulse lines. Adjust the zero equalizing if necessary. An operator tells you that flow indication is more. How would you start checking? First flushing the transmitter. Flush both the impulse lines. Adjust the zero equalizing if necessary. What is zero and span adjustability? The zero and span adjustments are used to recalibrate the sensor output to the extremes of its calibrated range. Usually, these adjustments are made to fine-tune the output signal at the zero and full-scale measurement points. Setting the output signal to both zero and span corrects output signal errors caused by drift in the sensor, which may be caused by length of operation or number of pressure cycles. What are the benefits of zero and span adjustability? Zero and span settings allow the end user to adjust the pressure sensor output at their facility or in the field for minimal downtime in critical applications. Another advantage of recalibrating the zero and span of the sensor is to extend the life of the sensor. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, comment. IIQA